Hello, hello guys. Um, today we're going to be continuing on chapters 9 and I will be talking about pedal axis theory. If you don't recall, we are talking about moment of inertia. So moment, moment of inertia has two major ways to solve whether I X X or I Y Y or whatever I X Y. So direct integration method and today we're going to call it method two. So that's method number one and that's the pedal axis theory. So let me recap. When we talk about moment of inertia, we're talking about a major parameter for designing beams and columns. And in this video, I will be talking about the common way that typical engineers use it in a practice. In the office, we use this method. So let's say that we have a cross-sectional area looks like this. Oops. With this is I called it or we called it flange. We call this web. So let's say we have two inches here. Obviously not scale. This is one inch. We're gonna call this 12 inches. And we're going to call the total depth to be 10 inches. And in this video, I'm not going to give you the center of the gravity location. So let's go ahead and do that together. Step number one, obviously find IX and IY. So find Step number one, find or locate neutral X. To do so, let's find the reference or define the reference to be top fiber. So your neutral axis would be what? Your area of each individual, so area flange times Y bar flange plus area web times Y bar web divided by the total area, right? Area flange is 24 inches square. Area web is eight inches square. Reference is this, so neutral axis is one. And that is your second one, just two plus half feet, not four, oh, excuse me. So that is what, six inches. Just clean up this. So just plug and chug. We've got AF 24. So that's 24 times one over 24 plus eight, plus eight times six. So that is 48 plus 24, that's 72, divided by 32, right? Which is, if we say 2.25, isn't it? So we've got, Eight over this, I think so. Let's say the neutral axis is 2.25 inch or 2.2 or two and a quarter inch. This is, by the way, should be already hammered in your head. Just quick recap. To find the neutral axis, you discretize your beam or your shape to pieces, rectangle or triangles, typically. You define reference, 
you measure your neutral axis off of that reference, then you simply say, or just state the formula, or just write it down and follow that. It's pretty simple, straightforward, right? So assume that this is right, or maybe it is absolutely right. Now, let's find your Ix, which is the hardest. So Ix, if you don't know the formula, Ix is Ix individual plus a d bar squared. That is a total moment of inertia equal to the individual moment of inertia plus the eccentricity term. I call it. This is one over 12, b h the third. This is going to be a for the flange, let's just call this flange, a flange times d bar f squared plus a 1 over 12 bh to the third for the web plus a web times d bar web squared. It doesn't sound too bad except those two terms. Those two terms define the distance of or the d bar f or d bar just in general is distance measured from the neutral axis right remember it was 2.2 by to this each individual centroid we already have them one inch six inches so that's just the difference since you know that's not a math class so I would like you to continue with this problem. Let me just identify the variables. B of the web or the flange is 12. So this is 12. H is two. A is simple, 24. D bar F is 2.25 minus one inch. So that is 1.25. B of the web is 1. H of the web is 8. This is 8. And this is 6 minus 2.25, which is 3.75. Crunch numbers. Boom. We got IX. What is the unit? Inch. Inch to the third. Inch squared. Inch squared. So we are going to be getting this in terms of inch to the fourth. So I know that some of you would like to see the whole process, but it's pretty simple. One over 12 times 12, 12, 12 cancel out, two to the third, so this is eight. So this term is eight. This 24 times 1.25 squared. Well, five over four, that's squared if I don't have a calculator in front of me. So that is 24 times 25 over 16. Cancel, you know, divided by eight. So that's three, two. So this is 1.5, then 3.37.5. Same thing here. Eight to the third is what? Five, 12 divided by 12 something times one, whatever that number is. Eight times 3.75 squared, find that number. So this is, the last, technically the last video and the statics playlist. I'll be having more playlists for mechanics of materials, concrete, steel, down the stretch. I will be also doing some random questions for statics in the next um, probably week or so. I've got already two questions. One of them I'm not going to solve it, the second one I will solve it, because the one of the questions is pretty simple, I really don't think it's useful, but there's another one that's pretty good about shear force diagram and bending moment diagram, so watch and see, there will be some review questions, and as always, 
If you have any specific questions that you want me to focus on, do not forget to text it to me or comment on the YouTube video. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.